Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we're headed over to Tunisia, or as our friends in the UK like to always remind me, Tunisia. Um, we're going to be making the Makloub, which is a street sandwich of sorts. Now, it's got a lot of things to make in it. We've got to make a salada machuya, which is a grilled salad of sorts. Uh, we have to make the misman, which is the bread. Uh, and then we have to fry up some chicken. So let's kick things off by uh, making the misman, uh, which is basically a semolina flatbread of sorts. And uh, apologies if I'm mispronouncing any of this. I'm trying my best. Okay, to make our misman, which I still hope I'm saying right, we add uh, semolina flour to white flour, salt, sugar, yeast, three quarters of a cup of warm water. Then we'll mix that until it's smooth and then add water as we go or add more flour as we go depending on how the dough reacts. Now we're to make balls out of the, this, smooth round balls, and put them onto an oiled sheet. Now we cover it loosely with cling film or plastic wrap for, and let them sit for about 10-15 minutes. All right, so the next thing we're supposed to do is oil a work surface. Then we take one of these balls and dip it in oil and then cover our hands in oil and flatten it out into a large circle. We'll see how this goes. Now we're to dot with butter, sprinkle with semolina, and we fold it up like a business letter. More dots of butter, more semolina, fold it up into a squarish kind of thing. Rectangle, did I say square? Rectangle. Let me set that aside and do the others. Okay, now I've got a griddle heated up, so onto a pan with oil, we take one of our folded things and just press it out until it's about double in size. All right, now we griddle them up on one side, then cook them on the other side, put them on a wire rack to cool, slightly. Okay, first thing we do to make our salada mechuya is to uh, go ahead and char up some vegetables, get them nice and blistered and dark. Now we put them in a bowl with some uh, cling film over, let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of steam the skins off. Okay, now we peel off the skin. You might be tempted to think, oh, you're getting rid of flavor. Not really, the smokiness imparts into the flesh of the peppers and all the vegetables, so you don't really need to eat the char too. It's okay if there's a little on there though. We'll probably want to get rid of some of these seeds as well. And tear it up and put it into the food processor. Okay, now we pulse it until it's somewhat smooth, but still has a few chunks. Now we season with salt and pepper. All right, so I took two chicken breasts, cut them in half and pounded them a little so they'd be of even thickness. I'm gonna season with a little bit of uh, salt, black pepper, and turmeric. Flip them and do the other side. Before you have me about using these instead of tongs, uh, these aren't just for pretentious chefs. You should have them at home. They allow you much greater control when you're uh, doing things like flipping raw chicken. Okay, we got our dredging station set up. Here's some flour that's seasoned with a little salt and pepper and turmeric. Into uh, egg. Then into breadcrumbs that have been seasoned with salt. Now we fry them on one side for a few minutes. Then we flip them over and cook them on the other side. And fresh out of the oil, hit them with a little bit more salt. I gotta admit, this is supposed to be a lot bigger than this, and uh, well, you know me, I'm great at baking. So let's make them a clue out of what we got. One side, mayonnaise. The other side, harissa. And yeah, I'm using store bought harissa. Then we're supposed to add a Tunisian cheese that's very similar to ricotta, and since ricotta is what I got, there you go. I'm gonna put on some of our chicken that I sliced up, sliced white onion, a bit of tomato, cucumbers, a little bit of that grilled slata machuya that we made, and some lettuce. Now normally this is just folded over, but to make things easier for me, I'm gonna do this. Sorry, Tunisia. Okay, let's give this makloub a go. That is ridiculous. You've got the spicy red pepper paste harissa. Definitely have a little bit of kick from the uh, slata machuya. And you've got that grilled flavor from that salad. You've got the freshness of the cucumber, the onion, the tomato, a little richness from the mayonnaise, and a little richness from the ricotta. And then the tasty fried chicken. Mm. I'm gonna be a minute. All right, so I'm not gonna plus this up. There's no reason to plus this up. It's got texture, it's got flavor, it's got heat. It's got unbelievable deliciousness going on and different things between the fried chicken and the ricotta, the harissa, the salada machuya. I, no, there's nothing I can put on this that would make it better. It is fantastic. So my understanding is this is a street food uh, and it makes sense, right? It's got fried chicken, it's got all this great stuff, very flavorful, very good, very portable. Um, what I would recommend is if you see someone on the street selling them, Give it a go. Um, but making it at home, maybe not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this. I will see you tomorrow.